I've been testing these four AI writing tools, and honestly, they're playing completely different games. Let me break down what each one actually does. Hix AI is the Swiss army knife here. It's an all-in-one content creation platform with over 120 writing tools. Starts free, then $19 for pro or $29 for unlimited. You get everything from article generation to social media posts. What surprised me is how comprehensive it is. Most users love the variety, but it's almost too much for beginners. Turnitin is the heavyweight champion of plagiarism detection. This isn't a writing tool, it's the sheriff. Educational institutions pay premium prices because it catches copied content like nothing else. Even when content goes through paraphrasing tools, Turnitin identifies AI-generated text with detection rates over 64%. Stealth Writer takes a different approach. It's specifically designed to make AI-generated content undetectable by plagiarism checkers. The tool focuses on humanizing AI text. But here's where it gets tricky. The quality can be inconsistent, and you're essentially playing cat and mouse with detection systems. Quillbot is the crowd favorite for paraphrasing. It's simple, affordable, and does one thing really well, rewording content. Most people use it to rephrase sentences and improve readability for way less money than the others. Here's my honest take. If you need comprehensive content creation, Hicks AI is worth it. For academic integrity checking, Turnitin is unmatched. Quillbot is perfect for everyday paraphrasing. Stealth Writer, it's a risky game that might not be worth playing. Choose based on your actual needs. Quillbot for simple paraphrasing, Hicks AI for serious content creation, Turnitin for detection. Skip Stealth Writer unless you're comfortable with the ethical gray area. If this helped you out, hit like and subscribe. I break down the most talked about tools side by side every week across finance, marketing, software, design, basically any niche you care about. Check out the latest comparison here or dive into the playlist if you're still deciding. But I'm curious, which one would you pick? Got a favorite? Drop it in the comments. I'm always curious what real users think.